Yo, what's going on y'all? So, one of my subscribers, he asked me how much do looks matter and he wanted me to go into this more. And he told me he already seen my first video that I made about that. So he wanted me to really dive into this whole looks versus personality and understanding why girls always, you know, say that looks don't matter that much and they really care about personality. And Do I think that's cap? Is that true? He wanted me to break it down. First, do looks matter? Absolutely fucking not. You could look like a chihuahua's inside out booty hole and the hoes are still gonna love you. I'm telling you, I know a dude that look like that. Matter of fact, the nigga four foot 11, he looked like the inside out of a chihuahua's booty hole and his voice sound like a cricket. And at the same time, he be fucking all the bitches, bro. Like the nigga gets so much. Okay, obviously that's fucking cat. Whoever the fuck would say that and believe that, you fucking stupid. So I hope you already done clicked off the video. I hope you that dumb to think I actually meant that. Okay, I, I told you, I'm trying to rid all the low IQ, stupid ass motherfuckers off of this channel, okay? Obviously, looks fucking matter. Yes, looks matter. Guys, let me tell you something. When you meet a girl, within, I believe it's like the first 10 milliseconds or some shit. Before, I kept saying five seconds or whatever by accident, but if you look at the actual stats on this shit, it's within like literally her seeing you. It's like microseconds, whatever the fuck. She already has judged whether or not she can see herself opening her legs to you and fucking you. That's why my approach, and I'm about to make an updated approach video, but that's why when I made that approach video, guys, on how to approach women, notice that my riz lines and all of this shit, I don't be having these fucking long ass conversations and tell you guys to do that and trying to make a girl laugh and different shit like this. Go up to the girl, make a fucking approach like a a man like a masculine man introduce yourself ask her name and then tell her you want to take her out and you want to get her number or however you want to say that part get to the fucking point the reason being is because it is this is an actual scientific proven fact that the girl and people in general you do it too you when you meet a new girl or a new human being you already have made judgments on them in milliseconds once you just lay your eyes on them Women like to fucking bullshit because they don't want to seem, you know, shallow. And that's why most people do it. They don't want to seem shallow. But the truth of the matter is, yes, she judges you within a split second on if you attractive or not to fuck. What I tell you guys is that all you got to do is meet her minimal attraction requirements. And I'm going to dive into this a little deeper on why I say it in this way and I articulate it in this way. See, the thing is, guys, everybody has a type. When you meet a girl, you have a type. There's a certain look that just do it for you. When you see how the girl look from her curves, you know, the way she, her, her smile is, her facial features, her skull shape, all of this shit that you don't even think about on a conscious level. It's just like when you see her, you're like, God damn, I want to blast off in that bitch. I want to lie in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? You just want to go crazy. You might not even be able to articulate all the features on why. But then you'll see another girl and you'll say, man, that bitch ugly as fuck. But then you'll see another girl that's kind of in between there to where your brain is say, oh, yeah, she attractive. Like, I could see myself piping that down for sure. You know, I could have sex with her. She's attractive. You'll have that. And then there are just like variants and different degrees of that. Some is at the very end of like... Yeah, she got enough to where I could hit. And then some girls is a little more. It's like, oh yeah, for sure. And then there's more than that. Like, oh, she real cute. And then you keep going up and it's like, God damn, bitch, let me get that ass. You see what I'm saying? It works like that the same way with women. So when I say you got to meet her minimal attraction, I mean, she has to be able to look at you and be able to say, oh, this is a handsome guy. This is a cute guy to some degree, right? Now that's, and, and the reason why I don't want you guys worrying yourself so much about looks is because you can only control so much. You need to self-improve. Yeah, it's okay to do some looks maxing and shit to improve your looks. Try to make sure your fashion is on point. Get a fucking haircut and line up and shit. Yeah, you can't talk about me today. I know some videos I have bad head and I look like a fucking bum. Bitch, you can't say nothing. You like the haircut, don't you? Go ahead and leave a like for the haircut. You still ain't left a like? I will beat the fuck out you. Okay, my whole thing is you should improve yourself and make sure you look the best that you can to try to maximize your genetic potential. Don't go fucking overboard as y'all know what my stance is on extreme looks maxing and being bitch made. Okay, you walking around. Hey, bro, you see my eyebrows are thick enough on this side? You fucking weirdo, man. You're going to be all in your head. Don't be that guy. But you should improve yourself. Now, the next thing I want to say about how much does this matter when it comes to personality, right? How much, where does personality come to play? Why do girls say, oh, personality is what matters and I really want a good personality and shit like this. The reason why girls say this, guys, is because that is the actual most attractive quality to a woman. 
Now, notice how I worded that. I didn't say it was the most attractive thing in the initial attraction. Looks is always going to come first to get your foot in the door. But if your personality is incompatible with the girl or y'all just don't click, y'all just don't mesh, you know, you an introvert, she's an extrovert, or the way that you like to socialize or the way that you interact or the type of jokes and, and your temperament, right, that you're kind of predisposed to in the womb when you're just in the womb, like genetically on how you want to interact with people and how you want to do things. If y'all just don't click and she got uh, different ways that she likes to carry herself and move and her personality just different, y'all don't click, y'all ain't gonna work. Even if she think you're very attractive. You see what I'm saying? Even if even if your game is on point, your game might be solid and y'all fuck and everything, but once the high wears down and she sees that y'all personalities just don't click or vice versa, shit will fizzle out, even though initially there was a lot of interest. So personality is the most important factor when it comes to a long-term relationship and compatibility. And it is gonna be the most attractive quality to a woman after you get your damn foot in the door from how you look and that she finds you sexually attractive in some way depending on what she values whether that's your facial structure or it could be your muscles you know we got small arms over here you know what i'm saying i'm five foot four slaying you know please don't believe nothing I'm, I'm just lying today you know i i'm just i don't know what the fuck wrong with me just a, just a pathological sadistic ass lie i'm not five foot four and if you think my muscles are small come fight me bitch the most attractive quality is going to be your personality after your looks get you in the door so the thing with personality is it only comes into play after the girl finds you sexually attractive which is going to be within the first you know, second or so of when she meets you or you match with her or whatever the case, and then y'all start talking. Another thing too about personality, what a lot of guys think, you know, they confuse personality with game. I don't want you guys to confuse those things. You wait in two to three hours to text back, you know, having self-respect, playing this indifference game and this indifference card like I teach you guys, not showing your hand, not showing your interest. And, and, and your low tonality when you're talking to a girl being seductive and in your masculine frame, those things is not necessarily your personality. You see what I'm saying? That's why the saying game is game is a saying I like because you can take these principles, that's what these are, principles of game and the ways that a man should carry himself, but it's still gonna look different on you than it would for me and vice versa because of our personalities. And this is what happens when you are talking to women. If your personality is not on point, she will not like you and y'all just won't click and you ain't gonna fucking like her. Now, some of you guys that got this scarcely beta male tunnel vision mindset to where you only focused on one girl and you falling in love, your ass still looking for a relationship. I keep telling you, you supposed to be on your grind. If you really on your purpose, if you really going to school, getting your education, working your job, you really going to the gym, you really counting your calories, you really uh, meal prepping, you really building a social life, you really out here doing other things and women ain't your life, there is no fucking way you should be trying to be in some committed relationship. What is the fucking point to put a girl in some committed relationship? Just to have the title? You do know that you can have every benefit of a relationship without trying to put her on lock. The only reason why you want to do that is because you got a scarcity mindset and you trying to make this girl, you know, take her off the market. Just so you know, she's still going to fucking cheat if she wants to. She probably cheating right now. I know I just scared her. You about to text her right now. Babe, what you doing right now? Yeah, you scared motherfucker. This is what I'm saying. You guys should be on your grind Monday through Friday and you see the girl one day per week. That's it. Go see her. Go see her one day per week. Texting a little bit throughout the day. It shouldn't be, you know, morning, lunch, later in the afternoon. Okay, great. You shouldn't be on the phone caked up all the time. Stop trying to make a woman your whole fucking life, goddammit. That's some beta male simp shit, especially if you're young. That's not young and disciplined. That's young and distracted. But back to what I was saying, your personality is going to be the most attractive quality. I'm going to give you a, an example of this. This is where you'll see celebrities do this or people in real life that you know. They'll be with somebody and be a dude or be with a girl and be stringing her ass along and he just, he just won't settle down with her or he won't make her the one or he won't you know give her the time that she wants let me put it like that she she won't progress the relationship in a way that she wants it to be right and this is and this is not not and, and not because you know he on his grind and doing the shit that i tell y'all to do but it's gonna be because of personality so let's say he already done with his grind or he's the grind never stops but he got his purpose off the ground he making money off his business 
He's being financially successful and he could he could have some girl that he tied a knot with or make a family with or whatever the case. And for some reason with this girl, he just don't want to do it. He just don't want to do it. And then and they'll be together for five, six, seven years. And then they break up. And then he meet a whole new girl and they married in six, seven months. You see what I'm saying? Shit like this. Well, why is that? And women do the same things. Be with a guy and it's like, yeah, it's just not, it's just, I can't see my, she's like, I just can't see myself with this guy forever. You know what I mean? And then next thing you know, they break up, she meet a new dude, six, seven months later, eight months later, a year later, she already married to some other guy, but they don't have kids and family and all of this stuff. What was that? It was the personality. That's going to be the most attractive trait to a woman or attractive quality to a woman. And this is why you got to really learn that this is why I keep telling you guys, I know you guys, you know, you want to be on your, your, your moral shit and all of this stuff. And I know a lot of you dudes is like, oh, I only want to sleep with one girl my whole life. And, and you got this standard for yourself. And I'm telling you that it's just not realistic. It's not, it's not going to happen. I'm not saying you got to go out here and fuck all of these girls and shit. I, I get that. A lot of you guys ain't slimy, grimy. You know what I'm saying? But you, you got to be slimy, grimy to the point where you shouldn't at least be feeling no sense of morality and feeling bad because you date several girls. That don't mean you fucking them, but dating or talking to and talking stages with different girls. The reason you're going to have to do this because when you in the regular world and you out here trying to meet people, they all, all these girls are coming from different backgrounds. They're going to have different personalities, different interests, and it's the same thing for you. So if you're just talking to one girl, a lot of times you'll talk to her and as you know, women are flaky as shit. They got so many options. They think they're so hot and attractive and they live in this fantasy world to where they always think they can just go get a new dude, right? And they jumping around from dick to dick so women's gonna be flaky and disappear and lose interest anyway right stuff that's not even your fault and then the other side of it is a lot of you dudes you putting all your eggs into one basket because you like this girl you know and, and then on her end your compatibility your your personality is not compatible with her some of you guys is in relationships with girls and y'all ain't compatible at all and you just stand in it because you scared to go out here and play the field you're gonna have to accept that dating is a numbers game. You're going to have to talk to hundreds of women or at least several, okay? Maybe some of you guys can get lucky. You talk to 10 girls and you find the one and you get married, whatever the case, okay? Now, why the fuck you would get legally married? I don't know unless some girl forced you into that shit. Please do not fucking do that. She will have you by the balls, okay? Don't do that shit. Now, if you want to do a whole little spiritual marriage or a common law and just say this is your wife because y'all live together and have a family, fine. But getting legally married, I don't know why you would do it. That said, personality is going to be the main factor when it comes to long-term relationships and compatibility. There's nothing you can screen for or no magic tricks to hide your personality or change it and shit like this. Game is just your game plan as to how you approach dealing with girls and knowing your own, you know what I'm saying, knowing what you want as a result with the woman that you're dealing with and how to get there. This is why I made videos on the stages and progressions of dating. This is why I teach you guys kind of like dating commandments. And I'm about to make a video on that. Dating commandments that you should have for yourself and standards that you got to set for yourself or what your deal breakers are. Just basically being in tune with yourself and knowing how you want to move and, and how you want to do things. That is what game is. But that's not going to overcome personality. You might be able to game a girl and her interests go up you know, she found you attractive and the interest went up because of your game or whatever. But then the more she get to know your personality and shit, y'all might fuck and she might feel like, I don't like this or vice versa. Okay, so personality is going to be the most important thing. And that's why girls say it because they don't want to sound shallow and talk about looks. But the truth is, looks fucking matter. That's why dudes that look a certain way, there's a, you know, women swipe. I think it's they swipe right on Tinder or dating apps like 14% of the time. You know, probably on a mother fine motherfucker that look like me. Or look like them other dudes or some of you guys out here and y'all know y'all get a whole bunch of likes a whole bunch of matches because you fit a certain type and archetype that's common and popular now let me go into that real quick there is a such thing as objective attractiveness so this has been proven in studies and and, and, and this is just real science and how the fucking world works guys I, I don't know what to tell you i'm not this is not a cope channel everything on this channel is me trying to put the power in, you, in your hands where you can improve but also teach you guys the real facts and truths of life. The reality is this. The reality is there are certain features in, in looks 
and builds and, and your body and heights and all of this shit that women as a whole are gonna find more attractive than others. So yes, there is a type of look across each race. You know, they say the stuff about the darker and the dense eyebrows. Now I'm sure some looks max obsessed motherfucker could look at my eyebrows or my sphincter sphere or whatever the fuck and say, okay, this could be tweaked or whatever. But in a general sense, I'm, I know in my results when it comes to data apps and in my life, I am an above average looking guy, especially in the demographic that I, that I, in which I date. I'm technically, you know, slighter above average height, right? So I got different factors that's helping me that you might not have. But then there's other guys that do have those things and they do really well, but then they fail in other areas. You got to stop, you know, you just got to accept life for what it is. Some of you guys might not have the eyebrow or the jaw structure. Like for me, for example, when I'm looking at my jaw and shit like this, you know, I don't have like the super chiseled jaw. Now I don't got the chin tucked, you know, no chin, no jaw, funny face motherfucker, but I'm not one of those dudes that's like super duper square. And, and you know, I could get my body fat lower, I could. But the thing, with, even with that, you know, I lost 30 some, 40 some pounds, guys. Y'all y'all know I did, right? Just just dieting and trying to go down. Yeah, my face got skinnier. And if I lost more weight, especially when I was like 160, right? Cause I'm like 166, 165 right now. When I was like 159 and stuff, so, just losing six, seven pounds, eight pounds, my, my jaw will show a little bit better. But at the end of the day, I don't have the genetics of those type of guys. You just gotta fucking accept that. You see what I'm saying? Same thing if you short or whatever the case. There is an objective attractiveness. There are faces amongst all races and there's looks that women in studies, you can go look these studies up your damn self, they tell, it shows that women have certain looks that they just prefer over others. Shoulder width, okay? Shoulder width and your proportions of your body and shit like this. That's just what it is. Now that said, there is a subjectivity to looks but it's not as significant as the objectivity. So what I mean by that is this, these are more complex things that are harder to, to articulate, so bear with me, but I know what I'm trying to convey here. When it comes to looks, looks are subjective in the sense that your upbringing and the faces that you're familiar with and what you're around and what you've been exposed to does influence what you like. So in a general sense, there's already like a predisposed, you know, program type of look that people just find attractive. It works on the side of men, it works on the side of women. It's just how it is. You can see a dude and know this guy looks better than me or if you know you're a good looking guy, you might say, okay, this guy could take my bitch. That's how I think. Or like if I see a guy, I might think, okay, this guy could take some of the bitches that I'm trying to get at, right? Now, I don't think he could take my bitch. You feel what I'm saying? Cause my, cause, you know what I'm saying? Cause, you know, saying? Cause my internal attributes and how good I am at building attachments, can't no nigga take my girl. That, that's how I think. But at the same time, you never know. If it fucking happened, it happens. They all fucking sluts and thoughts anyway. But my whole point is you meet guys and you see guys that you know look better than you or you know they probably do well with women. And, and that's just how it works. Women know that same thing when they see other women. That said, there is some subjectiveness when it comes to certain prefaces of looks. So for example, I like big booties and big asses. A lot of you guys do too, but I went to school with guys that we were, you know, just sitting around hanging with niggas. You'd be at the table talking and the girl walked by, oh, you a fuck her, you fuck her? Yeah, nah, nah, yeah, ass too fat, ass too big. And I'm sitting there like, ass too fat, nigga, like, that ain't a fucking thing to me. You know what I'm saying? I want the shit ginormous, gigantuous, nigga. I don't know. I'm going to start making up fucking words for voluptuous fat asses. Okay, I tried to tell myself I was going to be done, you know, salivating at the mouth of ass, but I can't fucking help it. Goddamn. What my nigga D.O. say? He said, I'm too, but I can't help it. I love the way it feels. Something, something with my fantasy and what is real. I need it when I want it. I want it when I don't. So myself, I stop every day knowing that I want it. All right, anyway, back to what I was saying. You know, I just like ass, but some guys, some of you guys, y'all just don't like it to be that fat or that big. You see what I'm saying? Some guys like smaller butts, some guys, you see what I'm saying? But at the same time, I would say in a general sense, guys like a certain curvature and a shape that's like, that's a nice ass. How big, how small, how thick, how jiggly, how did, that's gonna be the subjective part. It's the same thing. Girls, for example, they might like guys that got nice hair. But what they deem, what one girl deem is nicer hair is gonna be different. Some girls want the fluffy, if you, you know, white boy type of hair. Some girls, you know, they don't like that look and they want a guy that got more curly hair or whatever the case. Some girls want a guy that got looser curls or tighter curls. Some girls want guys that got locks. 
Some girls like waves. Some girl, you see what I'm saying? Thick hair and fine hair. It can get, that's where you start getting into it. But they might all say they like nice hair and there might be certain characteristics that most people would ascribe and deem as nice hair or a nice nose or a nice lips. But some girls don't like super big lips. Some girls do. They might look at that and say, God damn, that's a sexy motherfucker right there. I just want to bite his lips and, you know, and shit like this. It, it just depends. It just depends. But ultimately, you got to have, you guys just need to have realistic expectations of the world and stop going overboard with the looks and the looks max and stuff. You just got to deal with the fair share that you get. Some of you guys is, is, is never going to be, you know, attractive enough to get certain calibers of girls. Now, I will say this. I do think any guy can look up or if you play the numbers game enough, that's kind of what I mean by look up and you, you can get a dime. The thing is, when you're trying to get these super attractive girls, is that's why you want to build yourself up in other areas so you got more shit that's going on for you. So that means if you if you build up yourself and you got your, your finances in order, you got a good lifestyle that you can provide, you got good cars, your crib is nice, you got good savings, your money, your fashion, the way you dress, the way you smell, your accessories and shit like this is on point, and then add on the internal characteristics, the mask in the frame, your game, your seductiveness, and then add on your body's on point, you work out, and you at least fit. Just don't have fucking titties and man boobs and be a fat bitch. You, you, you don't have to be 8% body fat, 9% body fat. You see what I'm saying? But at the same time, you can't be 25 plus or whatever the fucking case. You, you got to find a balance to this shit. All of those things... Right, and then if you had some status, if you had an established business, you know, if you made yourself an entrepreneur, if you was had status, you know, that's relative within your school or the college or the job or your community or your neighborhood or, or your social circle or whatever the case and how you were, and you had this shit going on for you, or maybe you do have a blue check and you got worldwide status, all of those factors, you got other shit going for you, okay? So what I want y'all to understand is looks is what's going to get you into the door, but there are other things that women value that can raise their interest or that they can also find attractive in you. For some of you guys, you just ain't got no fucking swag. You're a fucking dork. And I'm not, and again, some of this could be personality. It's up to you to decide. I don't want you guys to hear what I'm saying and get swayed and start trying to act like somebody you're not. Take these principles and apply them and search within yourself and ask yourself, is this my personality or is this a beta male simp scarcely mindset? Is this, is, is, am I losing these girls because of my looks or am I not playing the numbers game enough and I'm over here, woe is me, all these girls don't like how I look. Am I going up to girls that might be out of my league? Do I need to do more self-improvement so I can be more attractive to get these type of girls that I want? It's up to you to figure this out. I try to throw you guys different nuggets and different ways and avenues, but it's up to you to figure it out. But my thing is, all you guys can get more attractive girls if you play the numbers game and you just understand and accept the world for what it is. Life will be so much better for all of you guys if you just accept life for what it is. And this is something I had to learn. It can be a hard pill to swallow. But at the, same, at the end of the day, some people is dealt better cards than other people. It's just life. And the people that you see that you think, oh, he's so attractive, he's a Chad, he's a Tyrone. Trust me, guys, I'm coaching guys that I, I see and I personally think these dudes look better than me. And, they're, and these dudes is paying for coochie. These dudes is struggling with girls. These dudes ain't getting it like how you think they would. And they might get matches, but they fail when it comes to their mouthpiece and how they interact with women. And they can't even get to a place to show their personality because their mindset is so fucked up with no self-respect. So I just want you guys to understand everybody's going to have issues. You just got to figure out, you know, what's best for you. Looks do fucking matter. Anybody that will tell you otherwise is fucking brain dead. But at the same time, it's not the end all be all. Every girl's gonna end up having her own preference and there are other, are other things that you can do that's gonna, uh, that can increase your chances. And at the end of the day, a long-term relationship is gonna be mostly predicated off of personality and how well you guys click when it comes to those type of things. Like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos. I will see y'all next time. Peace.